Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how you can make your own automatic crop farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition slash Pocket Edition. You can see the description to see the material required to build this farm. So the first thing we need to do is make a 13 by 12 dirt platform like this. After that, we now need to make a two block high wall using any other building block to make a boundary like this. diagonally and break the fifth block to place a stair like this. I'm using hoe to count the blocks you don't need to do that. Now go straight and skip three blocks and place a stair like this. Now go to the right and skip three blocks and place a stair. Sorry I made a mistake. I had to skip skip 3 blocks and place the stairs on the 4th block. Now we need to place one bucket of water in each of the four stairs we placed. It should look like this. Our next step is to use our hoe to convert this dirt platform to farmland. Now, come to a corner and count 7 blocks, I'm using hoe to count. Place three blocks on the seventh block like this. Make sure these three blocks are in the center. Now, it's time for us to make our storage system. Follow my steps. Place two chests like this. And connect your hopper to your chest while crouching. You can check that your hopper is connected to your chest by putting some items in your hopper and it should go into our chest. Now place a trapdoor like this.
Place a minecart with hopper and push it into the trapdoor like this. Make sure it's right above the hopper. Now break the railroads and make a cage like this to trap our villager. Place glass blocks like this. And place a trapdoor like this. Next up we need to build a wall of glass blocks over here. Now let's dig a tunnel for us to access our chest. Break this building block if it's not letting you open the chest. Now turn back and place two ladders for yourself to get out. Also place a trapdoor on the entrance to avoid mobs entering your tunnel. Place one more layer of building blocks on your wall. Now place one layer of slabs on the top to avoid mobs from spawning. Next place two blocks on the center of your farmland and place torches on it. Place two torches in every corner so that the mobs don't spawn in our farmland. Place more if you want to. These are the seeds you can use in this automatic crop farm. To demonstrate the functionality of this automatic crop farm, I'll be planting carrots. Now it's time for us to bring our villagers. Place building blocks like mine. Build yourself stairs, and place railroads on it like this. It's your choice to place the powered rail, you can send your villager without it as well. Place a minecart and push your villager in it. Push the minecart to send your villager in the hole.
Now place bed like this and wait for the villager to connect to it, there should be green particles if done correctly. Break this block and place a Fletcher table and there should be green particles indicating that the villager is connected to the job. Now break one block and trade with your villager so that he never loses this job. Bring our second villager, we need to break these blocks. Extend the railroad by three blocks. Now send in the villager via minecart into the farmland. <sighs> now place a bed like this and wait for the green particles. You may destroy the railroads now. Remove the villager from his minecart. Place a composter to turn your villager into a farmer. Trade with your farmer to make sure that he never loses his job. One important point, do not use villager with green coat. Your automatic crop farm is now ready. It will take 30 minutes to 1 hour for the farm to start working. You can give bone meal to your villager like this, to start getting your carrots quicker. Enjoy! Please like this video and subscribe, also share this with your friends. How did you like the farm? Let me know down in the comments.